you obviously speak to a lot of people analytics leaders. Uh, obviously, you attend and speak at a lot of conferences, read a lot of articles, share those articles. Thank you uh, on behalf of everyone for doing that. I know everyone finds that enormously valuable and helpful. So based on all of these experiences and conversations that you have, what would you say are the most important factors for people analytics leaders? Like, how do you build a successful people analytics function? I think it's going to probably look, draw on some of the things we talked about earlier, actually, about getting started. I mean, it, it, ultimately, it's about solving business challenges. You know, um, I think it's Piyush Mado, who we had him on the show, said that, you know, insight without um, action or insight without outcomes is, is overhead, you know, and I think it's all about work on the right business challenges. You know, yes, identifying the insights is important, but actually getting those insights actioned is, is, is the most important thing that you can do. Um, and how, what's the secret of doing that? Well, I guess good prioritization, work on the right things. But I think a lot of it boils down to having good, strong stakeholder relationships in the business. You know, nurture those relationships, really understand where the business is moving and how you can help. Um, you know, and I think nurture those, as I said, nurture those over time and, and, and go across functions as well. I think if you're a people analytics leader as well, you have to ask yourself, does my CHRO care about people analytics? Do they really believe in it? You know, and if not, and you don't think that you can change, be able to change their minds on that, then maybe you want to look to move on to an organization that does. So I think, I think that CHRO relationship, uh, head of people analytics relationship is very important as well. I think, Again, a lot of the good, really good people analytics leaders that I see, they 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 have learned tactics from marketing. Um, they've created a brand, sometimes even a logo for the people analytics team. Certainly, a, a vision and mission, and they're really good at communicating the work that the team does across the organisation. Because if you think about it, you know a lot of times you're effectively creating a startup within an established function within an established organisation, and that that's to cry a slightly different thinking to running a talent acquisition team or running a learning team or, or, or anything else. But, but yeah, I think that the whole branding thing and learning from marketing there is really important. Um, working in partnership with HR business partners and your learning team perhaps to develop, to help develop a data-driven culture. But I think a lot of the, again, some of the better people analytics leaders I see, they understand that it's not just about getting HR business partners to be more data driven. It's about also them and their team understanding some of the challenges that HR business partners are facing every day. So I think there's a there's definitely a partnership around there. Um, developing strong governance around people analytics, I think very important. Um, that helps you with the prioritization that we were talking about, creating an ethics charter, um, you know, and doing that not just with HR and legal, but maybe actually doing it with employees as well or employee representatives. I think ethics charter it's really important and again the more successful organizations uh, that we see out there like Microsoft or the organizations that we work with like Lloyd's banking group they, they have these ethics charters in place and and it almost provides a bedrock from uh, from what they can do their uh, people analytics work on as well um, you've got your team so you've got to grow the team um, the, the space is is growing all the time it's not just about having lots of great data scientists in. You, you need to understand, you know, we, we it's effectively, you know, there's a consulting front end potentially, and then there's maybe a user design element in there as well now, because kind of analytics has moved from just doing projects to creating products. Now, if you're gonna, you'll know this Ian, obviously with your background, but if you're gonna create a product, you need people to use it. So you need to think about the user. Um, so there's, there's lots of challenges around building a team and, and getting the right mix of people into that team. And where you're running a small team, perhaps, you know, where are skills that I can borrow from other parts of the organization, perhaps, um, you know, some thinking around that. And then I think also the, the space is moving so quickly. So I think having those strong relationships with the external community as well, both peers, but also vendors, you know, there's, there's a lot of um, in, innovation going on in the HR tech space. Uh, I think it's important to know about, know the vendors and the analysts around that, some of the leading consultants. You know, it's a fast moving space, it's easy to fall behind. Um, you'd expect me to say this, but you know, joining a program like the one we created at Insight 222 with a safe environment and an opportunity to co-create with your peers, I think does add a lot of value. Um, you know, and, and it helps you support your own learning and that of your team as well. So, you know, but hey, head of people analytics, it's an exciting role. 
Um, you know, it's a fast moving role and, you know, we know and work with some highly, highly capable people in that area. So, you know, I think you'll see some of the future CHROs coming from this role in the, in the future. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.